in your head is frightening en enough, but for those with mental illness, their voices are often dangerous. Now an unconventional new treatment could provide some hope. They started out saying I was a vigilante and I had to um, take people out. Um, so I started fighting the bullies at school. Peter Hawes was just 11 years old when the voices began. Later down the track they started telling me that people were out to get me and I had to kill them. Um, one in particular, my brother, whom I did eventually jump on with a knife. While his brother wasn't hurt, Peter was locked in a psychiatric ward and diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. The voices can be experienced as not being inside their head but being outside their head, or behind them, or in space, and can be commenting on their actions to the point where it's really disturbing. I guess the lowest point for me was probably two years ago, when I was lying on the ground there with a razor blade, 27 voices just screaming at me to kill myself. Peter found the strength to pick himself up off the floor, and desperately searching for help, he discovered the hearing voices movement. My God, it was like I belonged. And not only that, but they had ways to help. That would literally help. Traditionally, people with schizophrenia and other mental illnesses have been encouraged to ignore their voices. But the Hearing Voices movement says sufferers should do the exact opposite. So I was encouraged to talk to them and set boundaries with them, um, treat them with respect. And now I listen to them for half an hour and they all talk to me respectfully. So often in mental health, people say to us, if people start talking about their voices, they might get lost in psychosis. But that's not what happens and there's absolutely no evidence to say that that will happen. The Hearing Voices movement began in the Netherlands in 1987 and is now established in 15 countries. It only caught on in Australia about six years ago. Today there are branches in most states, providing a safe space for thousands of people to share their experiences. I think the Hearing Voices movement is, is a really excellent uh, way forward. But I do think it's important that it's considered as part of an overall holistic approach for the individual. Psychiatrist Jay Shi Kulkarni says it's important patients don't stop their medication altogether, but instead use a combination of treatments. Biological treatment, i.e. medication, psychological treatment, which is about talking therapies, and social treatment, which is about rehabilitation, recovery, back into work and education. Despite popular belief, not everyone who hears voices has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. In fact, people with schizophrenia account for just one of the 5% of voice hearers. Others suffer from a range of mental health issues, from post-traumatic stress disorder to severe depression and anxiety. And when people join our groups, we're not really interested in their diagnosis, we just talk about the experience. Peter now works for Hearing Voices, an organisation he is certain saved his life. To actually have hope, work through it, get out there and achieve a life for myself, and to be out there delivering help to other people, that is a powerful thing. On the Hearing Voices Network, just head to the projecttv.com.au. We'll be back in a moment. Right now, while